Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and are you finding that the fans in your PC are particularly loud? You've just built a PC, and for some reason the fans are ridiculously loud, and despite the fact that your CPU isn't running particularly hot, your system doesn't seem really hot, maybe you've run some stress tests on it to check to see what the temperatures are like and see how your system's handling things, and your CPU isn't maxing out, like 60 or 70 degrees isn't particularly hot when you're running stress tests, and yet your system sounds insanely loud, like there's an aeroplane in your bedroom or office or wherever you've chosen to set up your gaming PC. Well, I'm going to show you a few different solutions for this, simple ones. Now, for reference, I'm using Lian Lee's Unifan P28 fans. They're connected up to system fan headers, and you'll find that with most of this sort of fan, where you're not using a fan controller, but you're connecting directly to the motherboard, you usually plug into SysFan or system fan or chassis fan connections on the motherboard, those will then power the specific fans and should give your system good control over the fans to make sure the fans spin at the right speeds in order to keep the temperatures down on your case and make sure your system runs smoothly. Just because you've put a lot of fans in your system doesn't necessarily mean it should be running really loud. Now you may well need to check some settings in the BIOS. So first of all, turn on your PC, then mash your delete key until you get into the BIOS. This is MSI's BIOS, but the logic will be similar for other motherboards too. If we look at the hardware monitor section or look for fan control settings, you should then be able to see what your system is running at. You can see I'm getting 29 degrees on the CPU and not much else. If your CPU was ramping up to 100 degrees or 98 degrees, that would obviously be an indicator of why your system is making so much noise. But in the system settings here, you can see that it's pretty low. What we need to do is go to each of the system fan headers and change it to PWM mode instead of DC. PWM gives the system control over the fans in a much more granular way and ensures they're not just running at full speed that they might be if you've got them connected up and then the setting is set to DC instead. Do this with each of the system fan headers you're using. So you go through each of the system fans that are connected, you know where they are on the motherboard, you've plugged them in, so then just connect them up and make sure they're set to PWM mode. You should then find that they actually slow down a bit. If you then go into Windows, you can also control your fan speed with your motherboard software. So in this case, MSI Center, maybe Asus Armoroid Crate is another option and other ones depending on what board you're looking for. Click on the blocks on the right hand side and you'll see there's options to install various different things. We want to install Pro's AI cooling and user scenario, user scenario being the more important of the two. And you should find that under the installable items list when you first launch MSI Center. Then click on the features at the top there and click on user scenario. Now at a basic level, you can choose from silent, balance and extreme performance. If you want your system to run quietly, just click on silent. If you find you want to get more FPS out of your games, click on extreme performance. Obviously it's going to be a lot louder on extreme mode. You also have the option to customize, click in there and then you can go down and you can find each of the individual fans in here. Click on the cog and you'll see you can adjust the fan speed. But there's also a smart fan option. Now a smart fan, you can adjust it based on the CPU core temperature, on the system temperature, or on other temps. So this works quite well if you know which fans are connected where in your case. So for example, if you have the option to control it based on your GPU temperatures, you might want to put your bottom fans, the bottom ones that are blowing onto the GPU, and set those and adjust it based on GPU temperatures instead. If you drag the first dot down, that will obviously turn the speed down of the fans. Basically, this graph represents how much the fans ramp up depending on the temperature. You can also click on Fan Tune and allow the system to automatically tune the fans. It will run through some tests and put it under a bit of pressure, and then it will adjust the fan curve here accordingly as to what it thinks might be the best. Now, you may well find that you need to manually tweak these things a bit yourself. So you can adjust and play around with these settings, tuning and tweaking as you go. If you just use Smart Tune, you might find it's still a bit too loud and this can be problematic. However, if you also worry that maybe you're going to mess it up and your system will run too hot, then you could obviously opt for the auto options like this as an alternative. But if you tweak this graph, based on the temperatures in your system, you should then be able to adjust things so that it's still cool enough when needed to be, because obviously you need it to ramp up. So the idea with the graph here is that it starts off pretty slow in terms of fan speed. So you can see in the basic one, they're set to 50%, and then the hotter it gets, the faster the fans go right up to their maximum speed. Don't forget to do this with each 
of the system fans you've got connected. So every group of fans in your case, each header that you're using in the system, make sure you go through and tune them individually. Otherwise you might have one set of fans running really fast, for example, and another one running really slowly. So you could still have a loud case. And you can obviously also do this for the CPU fan speed as well. If you've got an air tower, as I have with the deep cool AK500 digital in this build. So these little tweaks will hopefully help. Obviously it's gonna be slightly different from board to board, but you find that you can adjust these settings both in the BIOS or directly in Windows. If you want to avoid bloat where they can do it in BIOS, but if you want an easier experience, a more user-friendly one, then you might want to do it with Windows software. But then hopefully you should find that your system is still running cool, even when under load, but isn't unnecessarily loud and driving you insane. If you found this useful, click the subscribe button and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see anything else. Thanks for watching. And in case you're wondering, that's my chair that keeps squeaking and it's driving me insane. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.